Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can get population data or really any data into Desmos. So I just want to acknowledge that in Desmos, you could just click plus, go to table and then type in the data you need. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But I just wanted to share some other approaches so that you might consider how you can get even larger sets of data in because I believe right now Desmos can handle up to a thousand rows of data. And that's not something you really want to type in. So what are some other workarounds? Uh, first of all, let me get a more complete population table here. And what I'm going to do is just highlight and then copy and go to a spreadsheet and then paste it in. Now it might be a little bit messier when you paste it and don't worry about it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you. Um, what I wanna first do is get rid of the data I don't need. I'm gonna highlight that and then hit delete. I don't need the yearly change either. And I need to eliminate the um, commas here. So I think the fastest way to do that is to go to format and number, turn it to plain text, and then go back to format, number, and go back to automatic, and the commas go away. If you try to paste in data with commas, it'll cause issues and it'll actually paste separate numbers around the commas into columns in Desmos. It's a little bit of a mess. All right, so now I'm just gonna highlight everything and then go here and just clean it up horizontally, align it in the middle vertically, and then I always put on text wrapping. And you can see that stopped the text from being cut off. All right, I don't want to bold it either. All right, so now I've got my data. And the issue at this point, for me at least, is watch what happens. If I copy this and I go to Desmos and I open my table and I paste it, I don't really like this so much. Uh, you might disagree but I feel like we're really far from both axes. It's kind of hard to read, right? Like on the x-axis down here, we're at 1995, 2000. That's pretty far from the origin. And on the y-axis, we're in the billions. There's no need to be so far. So let me just delete these tables. And let me show you some simple workarounds. So in my case, we've got years since 2000. We can calculate that very quick in the spreadsheet. And then we can say world population in billions. Now on a spreadsheet, we can type in an, a reference formula. And if I type in equal, I can reference this cell, A2. And I want years since 2000, so I'm gonna type equals A2 and then minus 2000. That'll calculate the difference. And for population in bi uh, billions, I'm gonna type in equals over to B2 and divide that by a billion, by 10 to the ninth. Okay. So it's rounding it right there, it always looks like it's rounding. I believe when we paste it in Desmos, that won't be an issue. So even though you're seeing it rounded, uh, I wouldn't worry about it. If you don't like that, select the column, go to format, number, and you can go to all kinds of number formats in here to get exactly what you need. So I'm gonna just leave it for now and, uh, because that's not really eight. It's, it's preserving this decimal. What's cool about this is if I select both cells, and then scroll over to the blue square. You see when I scroll over, there's that black cross. If I drag this down, it recalculates all of that for every corresponding row. So that's pretty cool. And I wanna go one further, so just drag it again. Boop, and there it is. Now, before I go on, you don't need to do this, but I like to. I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna go to my data. I'm gonna sort my data, advanced sorting. And all I'm going to do is make sure I check this off. Say data has header row. So I'm gonna sort by year from lowest to highest. And that just looks a little bit cleaner for me. Okay, now before you copy it in Desmos, remember Desmos will not understand the headers up here. So leave that out of it. Now in Desmos, I've got nothing here, just in Desmos. If I just, let me exit that off. If I just paste it, it automatically puts it into a table. And to my surprise, it is actually rounding the numbers. Let's go back and fix that. So you can fix that. You go to format and number, and we want to write a number right there. Now it's going to the nearest hundredth. I don't like that number. I'm gonna do, let's see if I type in automatic. There we go. So if you just select automatic, it'll go to the decimal um, precision that you'll need. Copy that, and now we go here, and boom. You can see it's just much friendlier, right? You could say, well, we're kind of far from the y-axis right now but you wanna decide where to zoom and how to stretch your axes. I'm just holding shift 
and I can stretch the axes however I see fit um, to get a good picture of the data that you're looking at. You don't need to have the x-axis in there, it's up to you. If you scroll up, Desmos will highlight where, sorry, where those values are. Uh, but the idea is you now have much smaller data values to work with. All right, thanks.